Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we have to talk about on which position should we use which heavy trooper and of course the most important question is why should I use it on that position. So that being said, let's jump in. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for the people who actually chosen to be a super member of this channel and actually supporting me and motivating me even more so here are the people, here are those names, thank you very much. Now the last few days a lot of you guys actually sent me this screenshot from this little devil right here. He made a beautiful but very summarized kind of explanation what uh, heavy trooper to use on which slot and why. And then you asked me what in God's name does he actually mean, can you please explain that? And yes, we can do that in this video. So first thing, who is this person which actually made this beautiful um, screenshot right here? Um, this player, which you see now on the screen, he is a very, very smart and brilliant player. And to be honest, I'm very happy that our community has players like him, which helps us really a lot with their analysis. The second point we have to mention first, before we start with the units and these formations, is the difference between the E100 and the Red Heavy Trooper. Now, the E100 has actually a tool which actually will protect the slots left and right, and we really have to make use of this, and that's why we we're gonna position him on a different slot. On the other side, the Red Heavy Trooper will actually gonna buff all your units, assuming they are gonna be of the same type, and to be honest, the position is not necessarily as important as it is for the yellow heavy trooper. So let's start with the tanks. So the tanks has actually two choices. And first of all, primarily, it's all about if you're going to use Pollock and Gypsy. That's very, very important. Because if you want to use Pollock and Gypsy, then your heavy trooper, regardless which one you're going to use, must be on the first line. Now, if you choose the yellow heavy trooper, um, to be on your tanks, then the yellow heavy trooper must be on slot number two, simply because the yellow heavy trooper with his super tool in protecting left and right will gonna ensure that you're gonna have as many units as possible, as long as possible in the combat in order for Pollock to actually work. Now, when it comes down to the red heavy trooper, uh, there's a little bit a uh, small trick right here. So you see him saying, put him on slot number three. Now, why is that? Now, allow me to explain. So the combat will gonna go as follow. Let's assume you, you and your heavy trooper are gonna hit first. So you're gonna hit first from slot number one, your heavy trooper. Then the opponent's gonna hit back. Then you're gonna hit from slot number one. The opponent is gonna hit back. Then you will hit from slot number two and the opponent will hit back. Now, what would have happened if I put the red heavy trooper on slot number two? What will happen is after you hit from the first slot, your opponent hits back, and then you have to wait because the opponent was gonna hit again because your slot number two was already used. So that's why for the red heavy trooper, if you use them, you have to put it on position number three, but also, of course, in the first line, he is gonna buff with his soul all the units, assumably, in this case, the heavy trooper, the red heavy trooper is actually army uh, type. Now, the second case uh, regarding the tanks is actually if you do not use Pollock and Gypsy, or mainly if you do not use Pollock, there is no reason for you to put your heavy trooper in front. It's uh, the explanation is actually pretty simple, simply because the majority of the players in game are actually playing with units, normal units, and the normal units will constantly bash first slot one, two, three. So there is no point to actually have a heavy trooper in the front front line taking unnecessary damage. And for that case, you actually gonna do the same only on the, on the middle line. So if you are planning to use the yellow heavy trooper without gypsy, then you're gonna put the yellow heavy trooper on slot number five like this. And if you're planning to use the red heavy trooper for the exactly same reason what I explained you um, just a few seconds ago, you want to have the Red Heavy Trooper put on position number six just to keep the flow, to keep the maximum amount of damage on your opponent because the more units you have on your slots, 
the more uh, uh, powerful your hits gonna be. And of course, at the beginning of the battle, you're gonna do the maximum amount of damage simply because you have the maximum amount of uh, units uh, on each of your slots. So if that was confusing, yeah, you may wanna watch it again. I mean, I don't know a better way and more uh, clear way to actually explain this. And you know what, let's jump to the planes. So first of all, if you are using a red heavy trooper, like you see my red heavy trooper is actually marked for uh, the planes, you really want to have the red heavy trooper on slot number six. Now, why is that? Because the planes, it's all about maximum, it's all about uh, hitting uh, the hard as possible from beginning from slot number four, five and six. So by putting the heavy trooper on uh, slot number six, this following scenario will gonna happen. So I'm gonna hit first from slot number six and then the fight goes on and on from, from uh, I'm gonna hit from slot one, I get hit back, I hit from slot two, I'm gonna get hit back. I'm gonna hit from slot number three, I'm gonna get hit back, and then I'm hitting from slot number four, and this is when Maximo jumps in. Now, if I would to have the heavy troop on slot number five, what's gonna happen after I hit from slot number four, and the opponent hit me back, I have to wait, and the, op the opponent must hit again, and this high, this is a high chance he actually gonna hit my slot number six, and it's gonna reduce the amount of units I have on slot number six, and therefore, when the Maximo and slot number six gets a chance to hit, he's gonna hit way lower. So this is the case for the Red Heavy Trooper, but we have another case for the planes. Now, this is a special case for the planes, actually, and it's all about if you actually know on which slot your opponent has the Heavy Trooper, you wanna match that, yeah? So if you know 100% that your opponent actually has the his heavy trooper, doesn't matter if it's yellow or red at this point. If you know he uses it on slot number five, then you're literally gonna do the same thing in order to keep this flow of hits, you know? If you see him, if you know that he has uh, the heavy trooper on slot number six, then you're actually gonna copy that in order to increase actually your performance so you can get the best performance out of the situation. So I hope you guys don't have a headache by now, but you know what, for the Navy is actually even more uh, simple. So let's explain that. For the Navy is actually, um, yeah, uh, only just one case. So sadly the Navy uh, with the entrance of Lila and Crimson, uh, and of course with Cotigua are now on par with the heroes from the other unit types, but is still uh, uh, crucial that you actually use a heavy trooper. So if you want to use the heavy trooper, if you want to use the yellow one for the Navy, you're going to put it in the middle, just like this. So I'm going to put another Navy on slot number six. But if you want to use a red heavy trooper on your Navy, you're going to do it like this. And you're going to use the red heavy trooper on slot number six, simply for the same reason. You want to keep this flow uh, with the with the um, attacks back and forth in order to get the maximum amount of performance. So that being said, I hope you guys understood this. If you didn't, please go back, watch it again. And of course, a massive, massive thank you to this little devil um, which have done this beautiful um, uh, picture. And I hope actually this explains uh, way, way in detail why he has uh, put these options here on the, the screen. So that being said, guys, I will see you in the next episode.